Hi everybody, welcome to the 100th review that I've done. This is, um, and I'm doing one that I've wanted to do for a while now. It is the Mattel, um, Flight Control Buzz Lightyear. These were released in 1999 by Mattel, um, and they are perhaps the best Buzz Lightyears ever made. Um, just by far. They are some of the, the greatest ones ever made. Um, I do happen to have two. And that is because I own this one at first, but he actually only came with half of a helmet. Um, so I ended up getting rid of the other half of the helmet and just had him in the um, helmet off pose um, or whatever. And then I have the um, fully functional-ish one that I have. This one has better gyro sensors for when you turn him. This one has the helmet functional. Um, the helmet does make noises and stuff. It does interact with buzz. Um, and he does have better, better, like, visuals overall compared to this guy who has the missing sticker button there. Um, but yeah, this, um, I guess I'll just get another review. Um, they do, visually, they look quite similar to the Collector's Classic Buzz that was released in 2001. However, um, they are a little bit more detailed. They have a bunch of more colors compared to the other one. Um, they still have the same um, pastelish colors. I'm not why I'm not I'm not sure why I'm acting like the collector's class at one came first. This actually, um, it was that buzz is based off of this buzz. In fact, the original prototype model on the back of the box for the collector's classic uses this head, um, which I guess I should talk about the head. The head um, is very loose, and that's because it when you turn him um, or like when you move him downwards. The head is actually weighted so it'll move upwards which i think is really cool um and it also turns since it's on that loose joint um and if you're wondering how the function works for the head um there is literally a weight underneath that is um, sensitive so when you turn it it keeps the head in the same place so it's pretty cool um yeah, I did actually have to open these up in order to get the coming out of the other ones, so I, I know a lot of the um, in, internal workings of this buzz. Um, he does have some very limited motion. This is one of the original designs, of course, so um, it's definitely better than the Toy Story 4 um, ones, but it's obviously, like, you know, not. it's very restricted. The legs do move, obviously, though. And on the bottom of this foot is actually a button, which um, I'll explain the functions of once we get there. Um, the helmet, as I should say, does move downwards. However, mine, since there is like a little notch thing that it um, like clicks into whenever you pull the helmet downwards, it does um, get stuck sometimes. So like it gets stuck on this last bit since that's where the lever is. Wings work. Um, they're the original-ish wings where it's kind of like, um, the, you know, just pop straight outward. Sorry, I had to fix the stand that the camera is on right now. But yeah, the wings obviously pop straight outwards. Um, they're, the back detailing is there, obviously. Also, however, these are still white. They're not, like, gray. Um... But yeah, let's actually get into the functions themselves. So there is actually a, um, it's very difficult to see, but there's a power on and off button. So let me switch that on. Um, and it doesn't do anything until you press one of his buttons. Buzz Lightyear, reporting for duty, ready for flight. So, um, he is currently standing, so he does not have the, um, like lift off position. So that's what that button was hey, for. Let's go. We've got to rendezvous it with is Star essentially to determine whether or not he is on the ground or not. So now he isn't like uh, in his. Excuse me. We are on a mission. Shh, let's go. Shh, shh. Um, he is in his um just standing position. So, um, opening the helmet, Your you can see is most accommodating. he um responds, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if you press the blue button. He'll ask you to check the visor, in which you flip it down. Check laser. And then you essentially um, press the laser button. All systems go. And then he says, all systems are go, so you're ready. Um, I did forget to mention, he does have a wrist communicator. This is one of the very early designs, one of the first Buzz Lightyear's to actually ever have one. Snap out of it. Shush! 
I'm doing review buzz. Can you calm down? But the decal is actually hey, quite let's accurate. Go. We've got Shush! With Star Command. The um, laser, this button here is actually, um, I think, probably the same so as that one. Cadet. So he just um, turned himself off since I wasn't responding to him at all because he's a little pushy jerk. But essentially, the purpose of this is there's actually a little button on the wrist communicator that you can push. I have to turn him on again. Buzz Lightyear, reporting for duty. Ready for flight. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. So he has a couple little phrases. Come in, Star Command. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Why don't they answer? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool to see one of the early designs for this. Um, although it obviously isn't accurate. There's literally a string holding on to it there. Um, hey, let's go! We've got to rendezvous with Star Command. When you push out the wings, he does actually respond to it. Ready for flight. Which is pretty cool. Um, and then the little thing here, which is kind of... There you go. It's on there. Um, that's... That was him lifting off, so Good when, job. I, when, I, um, when I tilted him, essentially, it um, sensed that I had moved his foot, and he lifted Connect. off. Snap out of it. <sighs> he is very pushy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch this one off, um, since the gyro sensor on the other one is better, and actually use this buzz, which doesn't have the helmet on, so it'll be a bit of a different take. So, oh, he was on to begin with. Buzz Lightyear, reporting for duty. Ready for flight. I think this guy also kind of has, better, has a better speaker. So, taking it off. Um, you'll notice when you push the button, on, he, his head does um, move upwards, which is pretty cool. So, essentially, um, you have to, you don't really listen to the commands that Buzz says. Um, you basically just turn him. And he responds to the turn. Um, you turn on both sides. Not that way. This way. Um, and he directs you where to go. So, um, go like that. Up air ahead. Please stop turning. I'm getting dizzy. So he does kind of command you in a lot of senses of the word. He can sense when you're going upwards. Um, he can sense when you're upside down. And then he can direct when you're moving downwards. So that's pretty cool. Um, the functions themselves, which are pretty cool, um, um, you can push this button, which starts the night vision, which um, I'm not 100% sure on what that does. However, I do know that once you push it, you can actually press the green button here. We're getting the roundup here. And. Turn it on, and then whenever he turns on his shield, you can blast him off, which is pretty cool. Um, how now he does actually have a specific um, helmet thing for the like helmet action, which I'm also going to show by switching the buzz again over to the one that has the helmet working. It's the same setup for each one. I am Buzz Lightyear. So his helmet's a bit, he, it's, the helmet's extremely finicky, um, I'll just say. Ah, the wind in my face, hmm, the wind in my mouth, yuck, buff in my teeth, close that visor. So he directs you to close the visor, close the visor, and then he, um, responds to you closing the visor. You do it again, same phrase. This is the issue though, it, it doesn't really sense the helmet. So that he just, he senses that it's closed, even if it is open, um, which is, I mean, like, it's, it's a testament of its time, to say the least. Let me turn it off, because that's most of the functions actually, um, discussed right there. Um, let me close the wings. But yeah, um, that is the flight control buzz, um, 
released by Mattel in 1999 for Toy Story 2. Um, it's pretty clear to see why if you can get one of them that's fully functioning, um, they're one of the best Buzz Lightyear's ever made. I think they're probably one of the best looking um, original Buzz Lightyear's by far. I feel like he, he has like the most accurate details. He doesn't have the weird like um, grayish tint that the um, Thinkway ones had. He actually has the white, which is accurate. It's in the movie. Um, the helmet's nice if you can get it working, obviously. Um, the gyro functions, they're a bit dated, and they, they can tend to not really work that well, but if you do one, get one that works really well, um, it's super fun to just get, like, screw around with him and, like, you know, turn him and have him yell at you. He is a bit of a, um, he yells at you a lot, which, I mean, I don't know if it's kind of a downside, it's kind of mean, though. <laughs> um, he, he won't shut up half the time. But yeah, he is um, absolutely fantastic. Um, unfortunately, he is quite rare as some of these go, especially this one that has all of these different features. Um, so it's it's kind of difficult to find one in working condition. I mean, it, heck, it took me a year until I could find one that actually had the helmet on. Um, but yeah, if you can get one that, that works and is for a good price, totally pick it up. It's This this buzz is freaking awesome. He's like, he's just he's just great. Um, so I'm glad I did this for the 100th review. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, or you don't, um, and I'll see everyone, all of you, in the next review, which is going to be review number 101.